Good morning, Charlie here with Red Summit RF. Uh, today we are on top of Mount Ord. Uh, with me today is my wife, Sandy. W7NRS. Hello, everybody. And we are going to do summits on the air here on top of the summit. And we're going to do a parks on the air activation, Tonto National Forest. And so Sandy will go first here on, on two meters here, in, or 20 meters here in just a minute. But what I'd like to talk to you about today is uh, for you experienced portable operators, I'd like to uh, point, give uh, five pointers on what you can do to help new hams uh, get acquainted with and, be, and feel comfortable with doing portable operations. And so we'll uh, talk about that coming up. The first thing, in fact, is that you should make sure you give uh, the person who's going along with you the plan or the itinerary and to make sure that uh, you do that so that if uh, by chance you get separated uh, the other person isn't relying on you for navigation and you can get back to the truck or get or just kind of know your way back good idea since i'm directionally challenged <laughs> all right so well uh, let's go ahead and get set up number two in that same uh, vein uh, for the tips is make sure you allow the uh, person who's coming along to set up their own gear or if you're they're coming along with you uh, allow them to set up your gear uh, and make sure that they know and are familiar with it. Uh, this doesn't have to be the very first time, but if you're going out with uh, somebody who's new on multiple occasions, have them bring their gear and, and help them set it up. And well, that would be important why, Sandy. So you know what you're doing, so you can do it again. That's right. And not have to rely upon the experienced person all the time for everything. That's right. And so, and then eventually at some point you can... Go on your own. Yep, you can go on your own. All right, so we're going to do that now. We're going to find a place to set up and uh, get the antenna hoisted and see if we can get some DX. So you take that and tie that down there. So you tie it, tie the carabiner to that. Wait, yep, just a neck grinding knot's fine. Or maybe two. So right about there, maybe a little further, and now you... Ex now take off all the unwind, unwind everything. Have you seen me do it before? Not this way. So, okay. That see how it kind of just unstrung and it wasn't in any. Uh, it didn't uh, tangle. Yep. There you go. Yep. Same thing. Just uh, toss it that way. Anywhere. This way. Just toss it. It doesn't matter. Yep. All right. Now take this and no, you gotta, you're going over that way. So over and tie it up against that tree after you hoist it. Yep. Yeah. So hoist that up. All right to there. All right. Tie it off, here. Tie it off there. Now we need these uh, snaps so that we can extend these and you got one on each end. What I'm doing while she's going to do that is I'm going to take these links. We're going to start on 20 meters. So I'm going to undo this link. This is the 20 meter link because we won't be able to reach it. We'll have to undo it again. So do that one. I want to do this. And this one. So we won't have to un lower it back down again once we got it. Sure. Just yep. At the bottom, probably as close to the bottom as you can. All right, we'll get that other leg over here done and then we'll be back. All right, the good old FT817. And that goes into the front of the radio. Yep. There we go. There. There's a battery connector there in there too. And the battery is right here. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. 
Good to go. All right, so that brings us to uh, tip number three, which is uh, put your person on frequency and let them search around for an open frequency. Just kind of give them a kind of an area that's good to start. So uh, we'll do that. Is that right? What? What do you say? <laughs> that wow. like seriously blew my ear out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Literally knocked me off my chair. Wow. <laughs> that was <laughs> What was it on? Like uh. If you guys don't know what happened, we turned the radio on, we had earbuds in, and it was, it was like a, it blew our ears out. <laughs> yeah, there's nine out of You have to unlock it. Right here. There's somebody close by. Maybe try a little bit off of more. Can you can you hear that? Yeah. So here. So maybe 41. You see how I did? How it's kind of. Still. Or 40. Now that's for, now it's Puerto Rico. We just have to kind of search around. Maybe that was the best spot. And you. Maybe there. No. Up to 47, maybe? This is W7 NRS checking to see if this frequency is in use. Siki Soda, Siki Soda, this is Whiskey 7, November, Romeo, Sierra calling Siki Soda. Whiskey 0, Mike, November, Alpha. Whiskey 0, Mike, November, Alpha, you are 5858, five, Gary. QSL, I've got you 58 also up here in Kansas. Good signal, thanks a lot. Thanks for the contact, 73. Whiskey, Whiskey 7, Delta, you are 5757. Five, You're about a uh, four by three, four by three near Seattle with a lot of TRM around you. Uh, thanks, uh, 73 and half life from Whiskey Whiskey 7 Delta. QSL the 4 3, uh, 73, thanks for the contact. Whiskey 0, Echo Romeo, India. Whiskey 0, Echo Romeo, India, you are 5757. Okay, you're a 5 9 also in the Kansas in spite of everything around. I have been following you around, so glad I got you. Thanks a lot, and 73. Thanks for the contact, Martha. Thank you for your patience. 73. Okay, so uh, lesson learned, I guess, on this one. When you are asking somebody to uh, find a frequency and just setting them loose, don't have it be on a contest day, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. I yeah. had a hard time with that. Yeah, that was uh, that wasn't very good. But all right. So what we're doing? It's contest time. So uh, it, we're having a hard time with QRP keeping up and and uh, keeping our frequency. So what we're gonna do is just do some two meters into the Phoenix area, and we're gonna see if we can get some contacts that way. So uh, stand by, and we'll uh, we'll get on the air as soon as we build this yagi. All right. So we assembled the. Uh, Yagi, now let's go ahead and uh, let's get on the air. Do, what do you want me to do to help you? Do you want me to hold the antenna? Probably, because I don't think I'm going to be able to hold everything. So. Okay. So we're right on frequency where we need to be. You can actually start calling CQ right now when, if you're ready to log. I mean the antenna and I'll...
Yeah. CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Whiskey 7 November Romeo Sierra calling CQ Soda. QRZ, KF7NP. KF7. November Papa. Kilo Fox, that's a man. KF7 NP, you're 5'9. You are also 5'9. Uh, what's your summit? I'm on Mike November 143. I am on Alpha Whiskey 022. 022, and your call again? Whiskey 7 November Romeo Sierra. Okay, thanks for the contract work. 73. 73, KF7NP. CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Whiskey 7 November Romeo Sierra calling CQ Soda. Kilowatt Charlie 7, Mike Sierra Uniform. KC7, KC7 MSU, you are 5'9, five 5'9 nine, five nine, Dan. Thank you. 73. All right, so another tip here. Uh, we find we kind of got stuck on uh, finding a frequency. So <laughs> that was so we had to uh, we spent a lot of time on that one. So the, let me get going here on the fourth tip, which is I don't know if you saw earlier. Um, Sandy and I both had our earbuds in, and I was listening in so that I could help her with some of the exchanges. Although she's getting pretty experienced now, probably didn't need much of my help. But uh, you, you need to be there to kind of help people with the exchange and with the uh, calling of CQ. Uh, that would be another important thing to do. And then the final thing is helping with the log as they're as they're working through those uh, those contacts. Sometimes they get excited and they forget to write down the date or the time uh, or the uh, you know any of the information that might be needed for the exchange. So. Uh, keep that in mind as well. Help them with the log. So, okay, we finished this activation. It was uh, okay. I activated. Didn't get many contacts, but I activated. So yeah. that's all that matters. Uh, so anyway, in review, if you are a portable operations uh, experienced portable portable ops uh, person and uh, take somebody out who's new into the field, uh, the five pointers that I came up with. What are they, Sandy? Share the plan. So if you get uh, they know where you're going, and if you get separated, then uh, they'll know how to at least find their way back to the vehicle. So let them set up as much as possible. Um, I've watched Charlie set up so many times, but doing it myself is much different than, than I think it is. You know what I mean? Once you do it yourself, it's, it's kind of you learn much better. So um, give them a range of frequencies, and then kind of let them experiment trying to find uh, the right one this morning was really difficult because there must have been contesting going on. So, all right, number four. Uh, help with the exchange. Sometimes uh, when you're new, you can maybe hear things, but it's uh, you're not used to the the radio language yet, and so you kind of get jumbled up in your mind what the letters and numbers are. So helping with that is helpful, and then. Uh, Helping with the logging, reminding them to note the time, which is a big one that I always forget. If I get too excited about stuff, I I forget the time. So just keeping them on track that way. Good idea. Yeah. Cool. All right. So hope those uh, five tips have been helpful to you. Thank you for joining me and Sandy on this activation. It's always fun to have Sandy along. I, I love having her here to to participate with me. It's it's a great uh, experience to have somebody in the family that's ham radio operator as well now. So thanks for joining the channel. and. Uh, Come back if you will, please. Uh, 73 day, y'all. 73.